Welcome to video six for activity two. We're going to do one more manual calculation. It will actually be our last for this module, and then we'll jump over to Excel. In the last video, we looked at the number of units we needed to sell in order to break even. In your note packet, I ask another question. I ask how many units should the company sell in order to realize a 15% profit margin? In order to solve that problem, we have to know the formula for profit margin. Remember in the last video, we said the profit formula is revenue minus cost equals profit. It is presented as an integer, or we would present it in dollar amount. Profit margin, though, is presented as a percentage. To calculate profit margin, we divide profit, so revenue minus cost, by revenue. If I want to know how many units I should produce in order to have a 15% profit margin, then I need to fill in the profit margin formula with my variables for Nike and set this formula that you see here equal to 15%. Remember in our previous problems, revenue was 25Q and cost was 10Q plus 500. When I input that into this profit margin formula here, I have the 25Q for revenue minus the total cost. All of that is in parentheses and I divide that total profit amount by 25Q or revenue and set it equal to 15%. Since we practiced some algebra in the last video together, I recommend you pause the video here to practice the algebra in this problem on your own. All you're trying to do is just solve for Q. Your check figure is 44.44 or 45 units once you've solved the problem correctly. So go ahead and pause here and I'll, when we resume the video we'll go through the problem together. Welcome back. Hopefully you got the right answer on your own. If not, let's walk through the algebra. The first thing I want to do is multiply by 25Q on each side of this formula. Doing that on the left side of the equal sign cancels out the 25Q that we were using to divide the formula, and doing that on the right side then gives us 3.75Q. So all that's left is that profit formula equals 3.75Q. The next thing we need to do is distribute this negative to the 10Q and the 500. And now our formula looks like this. We have 25Q minus 10Q minus 500 equals 3.75Q. Since the 25 and the 10 are associated with the same variable, this Q, we can combine these. And if we subtract 10 from 25Q, we get 15Q minus 500 equals 3.75Q. So the algebra we did here is very similar to what we did when we were calculating break even. The next thing that I want to do is subtract 15Q from both sides of the formula. And I get a negative 11.25Q and a negative 500. I'm going to then divide both sides by negative 11.25. Dividing the right side by negative 11.25 is going to give me just Q, so it's going to cancel out the negative 11.25 and dividing negative 500 by negative 11.25 is going to give me 44.44, or 45 units. Remember that dividing two negatives causes the negatives to offset each other to become positive numbers. Since I cannot make 44.44 units, and 44 units would not quite get me to a 15% profit margin, I need to make 45 units to hit my target. Now we finish the manual calculations that we're going to do here, and we're going to move over to Excel in the next video to solve for break even, and then we'll also solve for a 15% profit margin.